Yo guys, what is up? Welcome back to, I believe, episode 13 of the San Jose Karima. Today, we start off, Pierre Park is now 16 years of age, and also, he has increased his potential to an 86. He was like 68 to 84, and now he's 72 to 86, so that is an amazing thing to see. And Ricardo Correa is also just doing absolutely amazing, still at 74 to 94 potential, 60 rated. But I think we are going to be signing Pierre Park. Alan Neese got injured, one of the weird like glitches or weird coding things, I guess, where you get a training injury at the start of the month. Alan Neese is out for six weeks, and we do need a sub center back. And right now, our only one is a 63 rated 5'9 pass. But we are going to put in Park. And I thought he would be secondary position center back, but he's a five star weak footed CDM. But uh, I think he can play center back. We're gonna play, uh, we're gonna put him on the bench for now, but five star weak foot, CDM to center mid. He could definitely be um, up for replacing one of our current players. As for the lineup that we're go gonna go in with the first game of this episode, Ewell at the cam, Morales is in, Michaels will get, I believe, one of his first starts. It might not be the first, but it is definitely um, one of his first. Um, Salai in the left and then everyone else is the same. Toy up top as well has just been absolutely balling out lately. I think we're facing the Rebs this first game so hopefully he can do well against them. Right now we're third place. We're looking good. We got one game, uh, one game in hand against the Seattle Sounders and then two games in hand against LAFC. So we should be looking good for at least a second place right now. And we've actually dropped all the way down to fifth place place right now but we have two games I believe at least on every single team here um, that is above us so in the west as you can see we have two games on Seattle three games on LAFC three games on Portland two games on Colorado and we can jump back into third of course with a win here but uh, we're looking I know it doesn't look that well it looks like you know we're kind of struggling and, and fighting for third but we could actually get into like first place I feel if we do clutch up and win all these games against New England we win 2-0 that's what you love to see Toy and Schkoff two of our uh, I think probably two of our top goal scorers this season they've just been uh, rolling over the opposition so we're back in the third with that and we face LAFC actually this uh, month as well so that's gonna be a big one that can you know get us above them comfortably I think we also have our scouting update, so we're going to go our first scouting from uh, from the Ivory Coast. We don't get anyone uh, that I think we're going to sign here, unfortunately, but we still have a lot of time. We still have three months, of course, to get a player from the Ivory Coast. I would really, really love like a, a right back. That would be an amazing signing. But we do have Jordan Jackson here, who is a 73-rated 17-year-old, and he looks to be another center mid. That's... That is the only problem with uh, going for a physically strong. I feel like we do get an overload of central midfielders, but as you can see, 60 rated, another center mid. I think we're just gonna sign him straight up. We'll see what his uh, what his work rates and, and skills are like that, but we're most likely not gonna train this guy. I think he's too old and we already have too many guys, but three star, three star, center mid slash cam. He'll, he'll eventually grow, I think, into someone that we may put on the bench, but uh, for now, he's just going to stick on the reserves there. But uh, we win the first game of the episode, and I think the next one is... I think the next one is maybe an easy game, hopefully. Never mind. We will be facing the first place team in the East, in Toronto. We... I, I really just don't like how we're, like, three or two games behind, because... It makes me think that we're like third in the table when we really could be, you know, one point behind first at this point. It's unfortunate, but uh, I guess we just got to keep winning games because Seattle right now are still undefeated. Our only loss is to Columbus, which honestly, I feel like that was uh, a fluke. I feel like that was a one-time thing, which is unfortunate. I feel like we could still be undefeated at this point, but we go in home against Toronto. This could, this could potentially be a loss, but you know, Whatever happens, happens, and we get a win. 2-1, Miranda scores again, and Toy. Toy in the 14th, Miranda in the 74th. Very, very good result there against the first place team in the East, and we're back up to uh, back up to 
three points behind LAFC with two games in hand. Third game of the month is going to be against RSL. They're not in top six, I actually don't know where they are. They might be dead last, who knows. One thing that is interesting, I don't see the likes of, of Minnesota or LA. So Real Salt Lake are in last, actually. They haven't won a game. Minnesota haven't won a game. So maybe that transfer of Mason Toy absolutely crushed them. Who knows, but LA Galaxy are in eighth. Other than that, it's the same, you know, top seven, um, or technically top eight. I mean, everyone was there except Minnesota uh, last season. Because it's the last place team in the West, I think we're gonna go with a bit of a, a different lineup. We're gonna, I think we're gonna take out Schoff. Espinosa hasn't been playing as well as he was in, you know, previous months. So we're gonna keep in Schoff. And then we're gonna play Michaels for Morales. That's something I really wanna to start to do is, is kind of phase out Morales and see how Michaels does. Um, because Morales is getting on a bit in age and eventually maybe we do sell him to Europe or maybe an, another MLS team and Michaels takes his spot. So this is a very, um, this is a very young lineup, definitely. We got Miranda in there who's still like 17, 18. Michaels is still 17. Um, and then other than that, I mean, it's a lot of youth academy players. Sullivan and Cameron are both still teenagers as well. Against the last place team, they haven't won a game. Let's keep it that way. Let's get the dub, keep up with LAFC and uh, Seattle, and we do. Two or two goals from Schoff, one from Ewell, one from Lima, and one from Espinosa. Miranda unfortunately gets a yellow card, but we win 5-0, a great, great victory. And I think that is our highest ever uh, goal margin at 5-0 and I think we beat RSL like 4-0 last season as well so they're just not having very good luck with us. Youth Academy is still doing very good, Correa at a set, uh, 62 now, he's growing quite nicely um, and we're keeping up. We're now three games behind LAFC though, we will face them next so this could be a very very good uh, win if we can get it, it's gonna you know shrink that margin a bit and we'll still have a couple games on them. I mean, Wando hasn't played in a while. We've been playing Mason Toy a lot, so we're gonna give him a try against LAFC, see if he can clutch it up. He clutched it up against the other LA team in Galaxy, so this is a big game. If we win this, we're gonna have uh, still three games in hand, but we could be only uh, three points behind them, so that would be huge to win this away from home. Seattle are still rolling away with it, they could potentially be on 38 points um, if they win their next game, and they'll still probably have a game in hand against LAFC, but they've won their past three games, and they win this one. That is huge for LAFC. That is massive for LAFC. We still have three games on them, which would only level us with them, which is so unfortunate. So we, we're just choking these big games, and we honestly, we cannot be, uh, we can't keep losing like this. We gotta keep rolling. We gotta keep up with these teams. And that's the thing that sucks about being um, like three, two or three games behind is you have to keep up. You have to keep winning. I mean, after a really unfortunate loss there, we're gonna bring back in Mason Toy. Wando, I just don't know what's up with him. Other than that, we're gonna keep it all the same. This lineup has been working probably the best. Even even Miranda, actually, instead of Jensen, has been working the best. Jensen, he's probably going to get sold straight away. Honestly, him, Salai have been horrendous signings. Probably the worst signings of this career mode, but that is really, really unfortunate to lose against LAFC. I think it was only 2-1. I can't even remember right now, but we're going against Sporting. Let's just get this win. Let's recover. There we go. 2-1. Toy and Schoff, uh, both just such reliable players at this point in the season. And they're still not on the top goal scoring list. So I think maybe maybe we do look into, you know, other scoring options in the transfer window. We're coming up to it as well. But uh, we go in, in the last game against Houston Dynamo, only a two game break. We are gonna switch the lineup, of course, cause probably the energy um, is gonna be a bit uh, low. Salai getting angry with me, but honestly, you're not playing good enough. You're not, he's not playing anywhere near good enough to be getting into a squad on a regular basis. So we're gonna play Tommy Thompson, gonna give him a chance. Miranda goes back into the team. Toy and Schkopf, I just gotta keep them in because they're the only ones who are actually scoring for me, unfortunately. But we're gonna go in, home against Houston. I think they are pretty low on the table, so this should be 
pretty straightforward game. They actually did win against Toronto, the first place team. That is surprising. But we're going to win 2 0. And it's Schroff again, two goals. He scored early in the fourth and late in the 88th. And it's going to cap off the month on a pretty good note. But it still is pretty, uh, it still is pretty sad that we lost against LAFC. They're now, they now are in first. The one thing that I just can't let happen, I can't let an LA team win the damn league. That is not happening on my watch. And we're two games behind them. I think Seattle might have had their first loss. Seattle did. They had their first loss. So right now, we do have a chance because they've had they've drawn twice. We do have a chance to uh, at least level LAFC in the next two matches. Seattle face LA Galaxy, which might be a tough match for them. Um, but this is... We've kind of recovered. We've kind of recovered and gotten back into a respectable uh, position. So that is going to be all. Next episode, we have DC, RSL, Orlando, and Colorado. I don't know. I don't think that's like anyone too uh, threatening. So we might have a very easy month. The only problem I have with it, actually DC are third. Um, but the only problem I actually have with that lineup of games is... I don't feel like that's enough games. Like we're not catching up um, in terms of number of games with LAFC. We're probably we could be like three games behind behind them again, which just sucks. But we'll go into June next episode. We actually face Seattle in July, so that's going to be a major major game. But that's going to be all for me. Hope you enjoyed today's episode, and I'll see you guys later.